Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 along with the new IKB. Say hello, IKB. Hello, everyone. Uh, he's, of course, the railway expert here and is giving us a lot of advice as we play and help. So we're going to put a regular train station here um, at Baylor Drilling Hole. Isn't it obvious that I have already connected this business? Yeah, but it doesn't go to where we need it to go to. Let's see if we come here. Uh, hmm. Maybe if we try and cross there's yeah, as close to the swamps as possible. Well, what I'm thinking of doing it is, I, th what I'm thinking of doing is going to um, Brandenburg train station instead of crossing over our lines, like that. I know it's a little delayed for you to see, but I'm thinking of doing that because then that will loop up through and around our existing routes up to Rostock. So I think we that, could. That seems doable. Yes. And I think efficient. I hope we're not overly... The, the, the concern, of course, is over-utilized, you know, going through the, the town. But, um, so doing bypass. But I don't think this is like some of the other problem areas that we've been having early on. With too much freight coming through some of the towns. So build that. And yeah, we'll just put in a supply tower. So we're going to want a train coming from here up to here. We're going to make sure it only goes when it's full so that we're not clogging the railways with either empty, which is the worst, or just half filled trains. Mm, speed 38. Um, I think we'll go with class B. Hopefully that's enough speed now here. We want to efficiently get these pigs to market. So let's do that. Big track triangle. Yep. And hopefully that will be efficient in that trains will come down this way and if they're going here we'll wait in the you know waiting section instead of clogging up other trains moving through. I know we're also putting here, but I want to more efficiently come right into here and again and again let's make sure that it is well no because we have other trains coming through here we don't want something just sitting on the tracks slowing everything up and the um what, what, what was the wood okay and so we're well we yeah i don't know if we needed to do this track triangle there but because we're getting wood from here up to there. So that, that'll that work. That will work. So let's, let's let this thing roll for a bit. Now, do we have any problems on our tracks? Maybe should we... Um, Missing equipment here. Make okay. sure we've put... Um, maintenance facilities since we get them for free yes that is a good idea locomotive slow due to missing equipment Might yeah need to check on that one yeah it's 
here and it's this guy here and he's getting that stuff so i i don't remember it may have not been put in there originally is going on but we may need to add something transatlantic cable success now here here i've got a oh what's oh, i'm sorry i had to take Uh-oh. Well, Lum is having a discussion with Arno. Good to keep it nice and clean there. Um, but just think, you know, they're talking about the transatlantic cable, which, of course, just allowed initially at least Morse code to be sent across the Atlantic. And here we are um, live streaming something internationally, and I'm playing it with somebody who's sitting in England. So... Everyone should really take, and I think people take um, uh, technological advances, um, you know, too much for granted, and how much life has changed because of them. Very true, gamer. Very true. Okay, express. Brandenburg, Cologne. No, we're not going to do that. That's just going into a mess down here. Cologne, where's Cologne? Oh, yeah, that's a big mess. So, yeah. Getting through all those cities. Get over to here. Okay, intimidation. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with it. To click on the oh yep there we yeah. go here we go come on children play nice are you even sure that you can afford this game of poker yes we can we we need to okay we're doing well I'm not seeing any oh what's Bonus, bonus, yeah. Oh, new industry. Oh, yeah, we're not, yeah, we're not building an industry down there. Okay, so we have Danzig and Elbring. Well, no other major concerns. Hmm. Hmm. It might be worth connecting them just so that your position doesn't get bragging rights of having been first to connect. Yes, no, no, you're you're absolutely right about that. Part of what I'm considering here is how um, thoroughly do we connect them? Part of we have this Brandenburg over or Bromberg. They're already in there and they're coming up to here. Hmm. Here and they're coming to Konigsberg. Okay, we've got to move fast. Well, they, you're right, they're going to be here already. Is Memel on the map? Memel is um, not on the map, it's just up here. But we do have Konigsberg, which is sort of the farthest north. <sighs> well, okay. Not a bad move for a novice. Novice. That sounds like somebody said something that doesn't know and no, doesn't use the word. Because I would have said novice. So. Gonna try and block them out to a degree. But I just don't know, there may be other ways of saying the word, different accents. Okay, 
that gets that connected now we're going to do a lot before we run the clock because I don't want them coming any closer to some of these places now here I think we're going to do a more to buy excess won't we oh yes I think we have the money for that let's surprised if that far yeah, far yeah. eastern part of Prussia costs more than 17 million right yeah chance. it was just two or something that I just bought it we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna design in here a design you know well-built railway okay so IKB let's see come over here now what's the best how do we get up the hill the best brute force is probably not the best way ideally you want to try and follow the contours around right I mean that is saying that one there did say it was only three percent which isn't too bad now that's with a huge railway bridge going there so that you're right that isn't too bad but I don't know that we want to do brute force like that so let's Get across the river. Hmm. Still saying only it's only gone up to five percent, that's not too bad. Yeah. Shifting it up. Bit. Let's see if we were to there, there. How does that look to your railway mind here? Four percent. Yeah, I'd go with that. That's probably going to be the. But also the, a... you know, the idea between um, distance versus you know gradient speed. Does that look relatively efficient? You know, obviously it's not a straight reasonably good. not a straight line it's but not the, it's not the straight line that everyone always tries to go for but everything is always a compromise between the straightest possible line and what mother nature decides to put in your way right so we'll do that okay so that connects that up to there but what we want to see about also coming down here. So I'm sort of deciding to spend, I mean, not stupidly lots of money, but just trying to design a good connectivity here. And not just through one way, but like this. Ooh, that doesn't look and see here we have this problem here we hmm. you might be best placed to just try and get as short of a bridge going from about where you are now over to the station that might be your best option Something like this, you think? Something like that, yeah. Okay. Because there are plenty of places where you've got quite big bridges like that over ostensibly dry valleys. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's looking pretty good. So we'll do that. working on the principle that whatever little stream has cut that depression in the land is just too small to be seen on a map of this scale absolutely yes or we can also look at like what i think happens a lot in britain and i presume in these types of places glaciers have cut valleys long before yeah and we're dealing with those um kinds of things now up here in konigsberg I 
Railway Empire. Thanks, Arno. Martek. We were playing. Um, Hoi for earlier. Okay, what are we? Let's do this now. We're going to come out from here. little bit wanting to sort of get down here somewhat gently there we go okay now for Mysteries. Okay, we already have a bakery up there. We're going to need the wheat for that, of course. And we're going to do what? Well, let's see. Can we do it with a. We may do it with a large. I don't know. Do we want to do a warehouse? We come to the north side here. We can connect both of those and then we can do another one down here without having to go bridging over them. So, you know, I would prefer not to do that. Unfortunately, sometimes, necess sometimes a necessity. Yeah, unfortunately, that is true. What are you up to? Are you trying to get it on the business here? But at the moment, I don't think it is. Uh, no. Ardo wants to try the new wants to see if we can wants to see if he can have a ride along from Konigsberg to Berlin. Yes, after we get this built, because we're having to fight expansion, so I want to before the clock goes forward at all, I want to get this stuff built. Now we're going to put um, another station over here. Let's see, can we do it with just regular station? Yes, we could, but not with that in the way. They're going to make me spend more money. Um, can you get it there and then... Yeah, because well, I think of going to the, to the warehouse up there is what I'm planning on. You might be best if you hooked round... Ooh. Yeah. I think we can Being do able this. To do it with the smaller one if you'd hooked round to the right. Yeah, but we, then we got to go over them. Not. No. Yeah, at some point we do. Not always. Put it there and then come out the east end of it and just hook loop around the top of the log farm that way you don't have to build a bridge over them oh, i see what you're meaning yes i see what you're talking about okay that works isn't it obvious that works that, I have that works that's work. great great business? great thanks for that okay so we don't have to spend too huge of sum out here at the edge of things Okay, that works. It's, I am sure that all of the um, Prussian military staff will be uh, quite happy that they've got such a um, overdeveloped network for a speedy mobilization. Yes, yes, I'm sure. I'm absolutely sure. 
Okay, so that I think is the basic element of our expansion here. We may see about the pigs needing to get to the warehouse here. Mm. Right, okay. We'll see about that in a moment. Okay, now for s train direction signals. Direction signals, supply towers, make sure every station has a maintenance facility. And here was where we also need to add in. Very nicely done. Thank you. And yes, supply towers sort of in the middle of most of these. Okay, now I think we're mostly ready for adding in some trains. Okay, oh, we also need to designate here. Take wheat, milk, milk, um, lumber, and whatever potato thingy vegetables are called here, I guess. They'll pick, they'll accept all of those. And the maintenance, yes. Maintenance. Okay, so, train, here to here, 
carrying goods. So, um, yeah, they'll both want a wheat demand, I'm sure. Yeah, both demanding wheat. May as well. Just like the other thing, so. didn't do is add the pork here the pigs we can ship that straight up to Danzig can't we okay we can do both of that and I want to put it to the warehouse just in case Come down to Bromberg or some other place that needs it. Oh. Yeah, that would make sense. Oh. Oh. How do we do this here? Oh, no, we want to do that. Um, can we do this? Oh, no, no. Trash that. Let's do... this and let's see if we can raise it up okay well there we go guess that's what we need to do get over the damn tracks by not being in first Should handle that. And that should handle that. Now, let's come from here. might want to join it on the other side before it gets to the water tower yeah I'm thinking about moving the water tower yeah um because it can serve double purposes we need two of them actually but so let's remove this water tower and let's put it right sort of here and right sort of here. There we go. these Get them down to here basically and up to here okay warehouse 13 is also going to accept pigs Oh, we didn't make sure we got extra of these. So now we can... Danzig, back. And to the warehouse and... Where are you going? 
Okay, you're coming up to there. Okay. Where is this guy going? Okay, he's going to the warehouse as well. Okay. So from here to here, we're going to put a fast beholder. And let's add a stoker. And I guess a conductor. Okay, and from Wilson to Bomberg. Okay, so those are going back and forth there. Wow, we've done so much expansion here. We're going to go from Bromberg to Danzig. And we're going to go from Danzig to Bromberg. And we're going to go from Danzig to Posen. We're also going to go from Posen to Danzig. Okay, so that's getting a lot of that going. Um, I think we need like Danzig, Königsberg, Ebling one. Danzig, Danzig cones. For... Yeah, we're we're gonna do those. Yes, but I think just well. Let's do one from Konigsberg to Danzig and back. It goes through Ebring, but we're going to not stop there. We have some direct ties. Bread. Bread. Okay, well... Okay, they need wheat. They're going to get wheat from the warehouse here. This is going to Ebring. Let's make sure we have one going from here to Konigsberg. Yeah, we'll get that. Now we're also going to, I guess, go from Konigsberg down to Thorn because we want to bread for... meat trade and we can also do another one we're sending a lot of these down to here and back okay now start watch as the grand ballet of trains begins yes now i'm hoping and i try to make it so that if they're pretty close to get started um first with my station i'm simply holding the better cards in the city let's add a supply tower here yeah Arno wants a ride, I think. Well, we may expand it. I don't know if he was saying it originally. 
Danzig. But Danzig to... He said he wanted Konigsberg to Berlin. Konig so. Okay, Konigsberg to Berlin. How would that... Let's see how this flows. It comes down through here, through Danzig, through Posen, to Berlin. Okay. So we'll do that. And we'll add a holder, which will be fast. Okay, so as soon as that is getting ready for on the track... to Berlin, so they're up there just waiting for track clearance now. Yeah. Bert Bloomberg, that one. And that one to here we go. So let's take a ride along. The inaugural um, ride, I guess, or inaugural trip. For we'll the... run from Konigsberg to Berlin. Yeah. Waiting. Okay, let's pause this here. Um, get out. We're already seeing we need to do a few more signals because they were waiting a little too long to make sh to see if the track is going to be clear. We have some long stretches here. Try to increase smoothness. Us waiting. Okay. Now back and back. Can we see that train's in front of us. As soon as it goes beyond that, we should be released. You see the goods going in there. Wheat, maybe, or something. that was much smoother because we had added the other signals up here they were climbing the hill but still at 51 miles an hour that's pretty good and we have well, just a few cars behind us looking out oh, oh no back back have to do that at the Baltic Sea Baltic. Pause this. Pause this. Okay, I wanna. Oh, look at already. Damn. Okay, they've already made another train station here. So what I'm gonna do here is be a little sneaky. I must go back to a save, but I'll let them have that. Okay, they they get to have that one. But we're going to add in unused stations as blockers to keep exclusive some of these cities keep them from coming in we're going to be jerks about this we'll get back to the ride along in a moment That is the best way. Okay, we've already done a blocker there. Best way to keep your um, competitors out. Look at in Weimar already. Yeah. Should have bypassed into Weimar. Damn. Okay, well, Brunswick. Let's put one in Brunswick. And Hanover. We don't want them in Hanover. On. Okay, a lot of disused are not to be planned. I'll build proper stations if we're going to actually double up. Yeah, to 
actually build proper connected stations there. But that should block them in most things. I don't think they're going to jump two, three, four cities in, but maybe they will. I don't know. These are sort of cheap. Okay. Keep them annoyingly out of my areas. Okay, back to the right along. So I just saw in the map that we share a city that I didn't think that they were already in yet. Did we go up here? Just sorry. Um, yeah, Konigsberg we got there. In. We can see our competitor's station right across the way. Just a small station with a maintenance shed. I think you need a little reminder that you should take me more seriously. Then be sort of familiar types of terrain environments for Arno. Flat land. Land very close to the sea. Yeah. Aww. And real close to the sea, it's flat. A bit inconvenient for you, sweetie? I'm saying that Germany seems much smaller than he remembers. Yes, um, this is not quite to scale, um, If we um, if we're going to be, if you notice on the signal, the um, little lever operating it has got the big um, big round thing on it. Uh huh. That's the um, it's actually a safety device, so that if the wire that goes from the signal back to the signal box breaks, that counterweight means that the signal will automatically switch into the danger position. Okay early safety device that was worked out quite quickly after they had a few uh, a few too many instances with signals getting in place right either being in the, so showing clear when they weren't supposed to it was very quickly worked out that it was a good thing if your um, signaling system is fail safe so that if so the cable get that connect it back to the signal box get cut, it will automatically switch to danger. Right. Yeah, yeah. Counterweight. Yeah, at, this time at this time period and on, most signals would have been worked from basically very, very long cables that actually went back to the signal box and were attached to the, the actually attached physically to the lever you pulled. Okay. So the further away from your box the signal was, the more effort it took to pull the lever. I, I would imagine. And of course, because there is a limit to, because there is then a, fin a finite limit before you, you, you build up a friction is just too much to actually pull it. it that, that sort of limits how far a single super box can effectively control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't it think of these things, but that but that would be very important. It isn't until much later on you start getting I think maybe around sort of the sort of end of World War One, sort of nineteen twenties and stuff, you start getting large introductions sort of power signal boxes 
mostly around large junctions where they, instead of having a direct connection with a physical wire that you pull to move the signal, they've replaced it with an electronic system with either coloured lights or green. In a lot of cases, they've simply put little electric motors to move the arms up and down. So they can keep the previous you know, signal in installation, but they can then consolidate for many different signal boxes into one that's got a large electronic frame. Yeah. Where you, and it does it via electrical current, mm -hmm. which also makes the interlocking systems well, now still complicated, but they don't take up as much space. Yes. And now, how did they, um, in the when they were still running in cables, how did they? Um, determined that the tracks were cleared. What, was it visual observation or was it um, tripping a signal back in the... Uh, to start with, it was a lot of it was visual observation of you've seen a train go past. Right. And sort of the immediate follow-on from that is they, when they got sort of early telegraph systems, sort of in Morse code, they would basically have a signal where they would you know, they'd see their, they'd see the train go past them and they'd send a signal to the next signal box along saying Ooh, I've had it go past me about to explode? and then they wouldn't let a train this. another train into that section until the next signal box along and sent them a message back saying okay I've seen it go past me I've seen it clear this section right was sort of the the first way of creating a a lock essentially which is what they sort of a section of track is called in railway terminology that was the first way of sort of determining that that block of track was either clear or occupied of a train was by having you know, have one signalman go in have one signalman see the train go in mm -hmm. and then have it his buddy at the other end see that it's gone in but then basically send him a a message via essentially a morse buzzer back saying you know, however many you know, dots or pauses or dashes to say I've seen it come out. Right. Actually developed into having actually for single track lines they developed the token system where you have a it's a token that essentially you think of like a key really that you need to put into the um into the signal box for certain levers to operate to let a new train in. And what you do is when you've had the train go into the section, that key essentially, or token, is given to the train driver. Oh, hold on just a second, I could be. Hold on, just I hold your thought there. Um, what we're going to do is get out here. We just went through post and, and we had a bit of a delay um, coming through. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to up the train um, station size to handle the greater amount of traffic. And then I am very interested in telling about the, the token system I am paying attention. I hope everybody else is interested. So we will continue forward, but go on. So as you, you set, once you set the signals to let the one train through, and then you close the signals back down behind him, do they give the driver the token, which means that those signals are now locked, so another one can't be let in until that token is then given back to the other signalman at the other end who puts it into the system at that end which then unlocks things so that mm -hmm. another train can be let in to the section right and then sort of the next development after that which became a thing sort of towards the sort of early like, sort of late 18 hundreds, early 1900s, is actual proper mm -hmm. track circuiting, where you essentially pass a, you have an electric current passed through the rails, right. and the, the train sat on there, completes the circuit between the two rails, which then will light up, as such, will light up on the, um, essentially the giant, the giant track diagram, right, to show that there's a train there, and that's, that system could only that's that's the system that is still used sort of as a standard today. It's also 
with sort of track circuiting systems as an additional sort of safety device if you've got um, people working on track and something goes sufficiently wrong that they need to block the line in a hurry they can then put a um, the, um, track track circuit operating pin which is basically a wire between the two rails that mm -hmm. connects the circuit as if there was a train sat there and will automatically switch the signal to danger right now you mentioning the board a mace made me think of um, a um, really great movie called Silver Streak have you ever seen that movie IKB no okay you but should I think I I will probably have a look. Okay, I it's will, um, made back, I think, in the late 1970s. It's called Silver Streak, and it was the name of, I don't know if it was a real train or a fictional train here in America, and it's starring um, Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor. Uh, it's a comedy. It's set on a train. Silver uh, Streak, 1976, yep. Yep, yeah. and it's a really funny really good movie and they definitely show the inside of some of the you know at the um track yard um a big board that you're describing that has all of the you know lights on it as where the the tracks are being used and not used i just you your your description reminded me of that but it's a really good movie and it's relating to trains and i highly recommend it it's another one, it's another, another movie I can um, mention where you, you've got a um, similar sort of thing is Von Ryan's Express. Right. Where I think it's at Milan or something where they um, they raid the, um, the signal box and essentially shoot up the, um, the control paddle so that the Germans and the German cooperating Italian forces can't see where their train is so they can sneak through Milan station. Yes, Von Ryan's Express is another World War II movie that Gamer highly recommends that you should, everyone should watch, most assuredly. Um, and it, it is a, a thrilling movie. Um, I think there is some historical basis for the movie. And another one centered around trains. I was just thinking of then maybe someday I'll do Gamer's Movie Review Channel. But another a train um, involved war movie is called Dark of the Sun. Um, I like the, the movie. Um, I would recommend it generally speaking. It is set in the Belgian Congo and the mercenaries. And they well, get. I think, I've, I think I've at least seen some of the shots featuring, some of the clips from it featuring the, uh, the sort of makeshift armored train they've got yeah they sort of do a, a bit of a makeshift armored train starring rod taylor um rather good one of the better actually one of the few sort of somewhat pro mercenaries not entirely but um involvement in the congo and not quite contemporary mate well contemporary to some of the congo um you know fracases and what not but um done a little bit after that and another sort of train mercenaries fighting war movie kind of thing like that okay well i think we've expanded our railway network very well they've of course sort of this is why i like getting these things in here now because they built a tunnel under to complete and around here hmm, don't know if we're going to connect those up to our the line station we might hear. Now, gamer, are we going to put in a railway line from Danzig back towards Rostock? Danzig to Rostock. Yes, yes, I know what. Along the coast. Yes, we're going to do do that um, eventually, but that will be next episode. So, um. I'm definitely looking at Danzig through to this, um, well, there's eventually Warehouse 14 here, but through to the warehouse, then from the warehouse, um, which we also need to do anyways, probably, to Seton, 
and where we may replace this train station, the, the sort of dummy one with another one to connect in or see how to do that and then connect that up to here. I don't know, we might come around north around there or just use the existing tracks to do that. But we will be doing that, but that'll be next episode. So come back for more trains, train talk, train war talk, whatever. But yeah, okay. Movie tips. Yeah. Don't have to like movies. Don't even have to like my movies. But you can see, I think I think they're great. Maybe because I'm an old dude and they, they were once new when I was watching them. So I want to thank everyone for, for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And of course, post your questions for myself or IKB um, below. We will try to get to them in future episodes. I want to thank you all for watching. See you next time for more historical gaming.